Hello, Jessica. Here is the video that I promised to give you to help you make a dog tag with the photo inside of this template. What you didn't see is I had this template on my desktop. It's a PDF file. So what I did was open up my print shop and then dragged from my desktop to this area here. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and do file and you want to open up a picture. Do open. Make sure you're in the right area here to pull up where your photos are. I'm going to go ahead and put something here that I set aside. I'm on my desktop and I'm looking for a certain picture. Okay, I believe here it is. Maybe I'm not going fast enough. Okay, right here. We're going to use this one. And I'm going to do open. As you can see, it opens up with the marquee around it. But hey, where's my template? Give me a moment and I'll show you where the template went. Okay, we're going to go ahead and click on select, then all. And then we're going to do edit and copy. And you see that the template still has not shown up. So we're going to bring the template forward and you'll find it in this area where it says dinosaur dog tag. We brought the template forward. So what we want to do is paste what we just copied. So we're going to do edit and then we're going to do paste. And you will find that your picture is on top of the template. So what we're going to do is resize the image. This dark blue area is the bleed line. You want to make sure you at least go on the bleed line to, in case your template is just a little bit short. So you want to make sure it's over here in the bleed line. So you want to resize it. We'll go ahead and resize it. Let's see. Let's go ahead and put this here. I'm going to bring this up a little bit more right there. I like to make sure I put it somewhere over, you know, like right a little bit past the bleed mark. Okay, so we have that there and we want to go up to this area here and unclick this check mark. It's very important that you do that. Once we've unclicked the check mark, you're going to move over here where you see the layers listed and you're going to use this black and white one. You're going to click on it and then you're going to drag it up to layer one. Look at that. There's your picture inside of the dog tag. So what you need to do now is make a marquee around the image because we want to save it now. Oh, wait a minute. One more step. We want to go ahead and take these words out of there. You can just click on that. Okay, you can just click on that and then put delete. Okay. Now we want to save this so that it can be the right size in our silhouette program or whatever program you're using. So we're going to do the marquee and you're going to draw a square or rectangle around it. You want to make sure that you don't go to the top because you might miss something out when you're saving it. Okay, I did this. Made the little box around the photo. Now what I'm going to do is image, crop. There is your design with the picture inside. And we're going to do file, save as, and we want to put a name to it. Let's put um, baby girl. You can put whatever you want. Now be careful because here you don't want to make another PDF file. So you want to go ahead and click it down. I usually save mine as a PNG. So you're going down to that and do PNG because it's a transparent file. After you do that, you don't have to put baby girl. You just name it whatever if you don't have that. Well, we're going to click on save. 
I don't know what this interlace thing is, but I'll just do okay because I only learned I only learned uh, Photoshop enough to do this from watching the videos. Okay, now that we've saved that, we want to go ahead and pull this out the way and open up the silhouette or whatever we have. Open it up. Let's see how we pull this down. Okay, we're going to go over this way. So we open up the silhouette and we want to bring our template into the silhouette. So we're going to do file, open, uh -oh, file, open. And you, you're going to only get silhouette files if you don't change this. So we're going to put it to PNGs. That's what we were doing. PNGs. So we're going to look for our, what was it, baby girl in the pictures. Um, let's see. There it is, baby girl. You click on that. Remember, you want to make sure that's the ping. And we're going to do OK. Look at your dog tag with the photo inside. You can always right mouse click, uh, copy, and then control V to paste it. I'm sure there's another way to do that. And you see that the white line is still in there, but because it's on the white paper, it's not going to show. Once you heat it up, I'll give you the instructions. What you're supposed to heat it up with, I believe it's 45 seconds. But I will correct it if it's not. I believe it is 45 seconds. If you have the double side, like I do, it's kind of hard, but you're going to have to match it up so that one side won't be crooked and the other side straight. Now that's it. You enjoy your dog tag template. And I'll talk to you later. My name is Cynthia, and I am a crapaholic. Take care. Ciao.